Yeah. So today we continue with the numerical problems based on what? Van der Waals equation. So Van der Waals equation is also called real gas equation. Van der Waals equation or real gas equation. Okay. So now here the another example is that the compression factor, compressibility factor is also called. Compression factor or compressibility factor, both are same. So the compression factor or compressibility factor is nothing but what on Z. Z is equal to what? PV by Z is equal to PV by RT. Okay, PV by NRT is what now here? Z value. So the Z is nothing but PV by NRT. Okay, ma? So here compressible factor Z value for one mole, for one mole of a Van der Waals gas, means real gas. Van der Waals gas means what ma? Real gas. So Van der Waals gas at zero degree Celsius. So 273 Kelvin we have take. Temperature we have take 273 Kelvin. And 100 atmospheres pressure. So pressure is given 100 atm is found to be 0 0.5. So Z value given what ma? Z value of real gas given 0 0.5. Z value 0 0.5 means Z value less than one now. Z value less than one means, is it showing positive deviation or negative deviation? Z value less than one indicating what? Negative deviation. Is that clear? Next. Assuming that the volume of a gas molecule is negligible. So volume of gas molecule is negligible means what is negligible here? B, the Van der Waals constant B is neg negligible. Van der Waals constant B is negligible. So negligible means B can be neglected, they say. Calculate the Van der Waals constant A. So A value we have to calculate. Van der Waals constant A value we have to calculate. So B value negligible means B value zero you take. Wherever B is there, you take zero. And A value we have to calculate. The pressure is given 100 atm. Temperature given 273 Kelvin. And Z value given, compressibility factor given 0 0.5. So we know that Z is equal to PV by RT for one mole. If N is equal to one mole, if N is equal to one mole, PV, Z is equal to PV by NRT. NRT means one RT. Now see here. So Z value, Z value is equal to pressure P, V, volume, R, universal gas constant 0 0.0821 and T, capital T, temperature. Is that clear? And volume is what now here? 0 0.112 liters. In milliliters, if it is given, you have to convert into what? Milliliters will be converted into liters. Okay. Next. According to Van der Waals equation. Okay. What is the formula? P plus A n square by V square. Na? Here A into 1 square. N square means 1 square. 1. A by V square into V minus N B. N is one mole here. V minus N B means V minus B is equal to NRT. NRT means one RT for one mole. So if N is equal to one, we take this one here. N square also will be one. So N square means A into one square. Next. So here pressure 100 atm. A value we have to calculate. A value we have to calculate. And V in liters how much? 0 0.112 0 .112 liters whole square. V square into V. V value minus. B is neglected, they said, no? B is negligible. So B value 0, it is. That is equal to R, R into T. Temperature in Kelvin, how much? 273 Kelvin. They have given 0 degree Celsius. We have taken 273 Kelvin. So like this, on solving, we get what A value? 1.253 liter square, mole inverse to ATM. So it is what now here? A value. Okay. So A value like this, we can calculate. Next. Next one, another important problem is that one mole of SO2 occupies. One mole of uh, SO2 means N is equal to what? One mole here. And SO2 gram molecular weight, how much? Gram molecular weight of SO2, 64 gram per mole. 64 gram per mole is SO2 gram molecular weight. It occupies a volume of 350 ml. Volume of 350 ml. So volume should be converted into liters now. So 350 ml by 1000. 350 ml by 1000 will be in liters. And temperature is given how much? 300 Kelvin. At 50 atm. Pressure is given 50 atm. Now what, what is asked to calculate here? Calculate the compressibility factor of the gas. That means Z value we have to calculate. Compressibility factor we have to calculate. Is that clear now? Now what are the given values here? The pressure is given. The pressure is given. Okay. And the volume is given. Number of moles given and T is what temperature given. So the Z value is what PV by NRT, na? 
जेड वैल्यू कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू कंप्रेसिबिलिटी फैक्टर इज इक्वल टू व्हाट नो पीवी बाय एनआर सो पी पी वैल्यू वी वैल्यू नंबर ऑफ मोड्स एन आर वैल्यू एंड टी सो वी गेट 0.7 सो 0.7 मींस जेड इज लेस देन 1 राइट when ever z value less than 1 which deviation in the gas will show the real gas will show what now real gas shows which type of deviation negative or positive deviation shows negative deviation the gas will show what negative deviation the gas is showing negative deviation means it has what now here uh, it can be easily liquefied can be can be easily liquefied it can be converted into what ma liquid easily because it is showing what negative deviation negative deviation indicating what down here the a value will be greater a value greater meaning what attractive forces will be greater whenever a gas is showing negative deviation that will be having what greater value of a a indicates what a is the measure of what attractive forces attractive forces between the gas molecules therefore a, a value more meaning, meaning what here And the gas can be easily liquefied, so that point keep in mind. Thus, SO2 is more compressible. Why it is more compressible? Showing what negative deviation. Showing what negative deviation. As it is showing negative deviation, okay. As it is showing what negative deviation, we have to say what it is uh, more compressible. Negative deviation is indicating what here? More compression. It can be compressed easily than expected from ideal behavior. so what we have to understand is that z value less than 1 indicates negative deviation and a value will be greater attractive force will be greater and can be easily liquefied meaning what can be more compressible it can be compressed easily okay next another important problem is that um, another model is that calculate the pressure exerted by 0.85 grams so given mass the mass is given what now here uh what here mass is given what no 0 8.5 8.5 grams given so given weight is what 8.5 grams of ammonia ammonia gram molecular weight how much gram molecular weight of ammonia 17 gram mole inverse gram per mole 17 gram per mole is what now here gram molecular weight of ammonia okay given weight is there gram molecular weight is there what is the number of moles formula n is equal to given weight 8.5 by gram molecular weight 17 will give number of moles contained in a 0.5 liters vessel so volume is given 0.5 volume is given 0.5 vessel at what temperature 300 kelvin 300 kelvin so for ammonia a value magnitude of attractive force is given what a value is what 4 atmospheres liter square mole inverse to and b value of ammonia is given 0.036 liter mole inverse so a and b values given and they asked you to calculate what here pressure so p is what pressure is what they asked here pressure is to be calculated remaining all values are given now number of moles formula what ma given weight by gram molecular weight so 0 8.5 by 17 what 0.5 moles n is equal to 0.5 moles we got and according to van der waals equation according to van der waals van der waals equation p plus a n square by v square into v minus nb is equal to nrg here an square by v square is what pressure correction nb is what volume correction okay now here p we need to calculate this p we need to calculate so p is equal to what now here nrt nrt by v minus nb okay and this plus an square by v square will go this side na so minus an square by v square so on substituting all the values we get what pressure 21.5 atm please do this final calculations you must do this final calculation okay so that you will do in what you can do in examination following ma if you know only formula not useful formula must be known after substituting all the given values we have to get the final answer that is very important task is that clear next two moles of chlorine gas now two moles means n value go what here two Number of moles, how many? Two moles. And chlorine gas uh, molecular formula, what? Uh, chlorine molecular formula Cl2. And gram molecular weight. Gram molecular weight of chlorine is what? Thirty-five point five into two. Seventy-one. Seventy-one gram per mole. 
okay 71 gram per mole is what now gram molecular weight of gram molecular weight of cl is that clear ma so cl to gram molecular weight is known next it occupies a volume of 800 ml 800 ml means uh, in liters what 800 by 1000 800 by 1000 will be in liters 800 by 1000 will be in liters and temperature given 300 kelvin and uh, pressure is given in pascals pressure is given in mks unit pascal is what mks unit of pressure so pressure is given in mks unit then volume also should be taken in what mks units okay otherwise you convert this pressure into what now here atm pressure into atm so generally we know that one atm is equal to what ma one atm is equal to 10 power 5 pascal okay then one pascal is equal to one pascal is equal to 1 by 10 power 5 atm one pascal is equal to 1 by 10 power 5 atm in place of pascal what we can write now 1 by 10 power 5 atm that means what 10 power minus 5 atm is that clear ma so it's about what now here the conversion of atm and pressure atm into pressure uh, pascal next one calculate the compressibility factor z value we have to calculate they asked to calculate what z value compressibility factor of the gas r value given 0.083 0.0821 or 0.083 you take no problem if you take uh, if you take bar it will be 0.083 if you take atm here 0.0821 that that's what small difference next comment whether the gas is more compressible or less compressible the gas is more compressible or less compressible we have to say more compressible when when the gas will be more compressible if it shows more negative deviation if the gas shows what more negative deviation it will be more compressible if it is showing less negative deviation less compressible okay when we say the gas is showing negative or positive deviation if z value compressibility factor is very less than 1 more negative deviation if z value is closer to 1 and less than 1 that will be less compressible like that we have to understand so for this to say to comment this one to give a comment we have to understand first z value compressibility factor we have to calculate okay so calculation of ideal volume first ideal volume we are calculating v ideal means what volume of ideal gas so what is the formula to be used here for ideal gas pv is equal to nrt we have to use p into v is equal to nrt so v ideal is equal to what nrt by p so n value number of moles given what two moles here number of moles and r value nrt temperature is what now here in kelvin by what pressure pressure we have taken in bar pressure we have taken bar so one atm is near the equal to one bar one bar is near the equal to one atm one atm or one bar will be equal to what 10 power 5 pascal that's why one pascal is equal to 1 by 10 power 5 atm we can say or 1 by 10 power 5 bar we can say 1 by 10 power 5 bar also we can say that's why in place of pascal what we can write 1 by 10 power 5 bar so in place of pascal what we can write here 1 by 10 power 5 1 by 10 power 5 bar so like that we have converted this pascals pascals into what bar by dividing with 10 power 5 so like that in bar we have taken so on uh, calculation we get uh, v ideal v ideal is equal to what 1.004 liters 1.004 liters so now we v real also we need here v ideal v real both when we know z value compressibility fact is equal to what formula v real gas by v ideal gas volume of real gas by volume of ideal gas v real by v ideal will give what compressibility factor so we have compressibility factor formula was z is equal to pv by nrt one formula one formula of z is equal to pv by nrt we can use or we can also use what z equals to z equals to v real gas volume of real gas by what volume of ideal gas volume of ideal gas we get from we get from what ideal gas equation and volume of real is mentioned in the problem in the problem they have given volume of what here a real gas so this volume of real gas is given how much here 800 ml given 800 ml means how many liters 800 by 1000 liters 800 by 1000 liters so 1000 by 1000 means 10 power 3 no here 10 power 3 meaning what 1000 
so you, we have taken what now 800 by 1000 800 by 1000 is what now here v real by v ideal how much we got in previous calculation 1.004 we got v ideal we got 1.004 liters 1.004 liters we got and v real given how much in the problem 800 ml given now so 800 ml by 1000 liters okay so then we get uh, 0 0.796 as z value so z value we got 0 0.796 means z value less than one z value we got less than one compressibility factor value we got less than one less than one means what your negative deviation as z is less than one as z value less than one it means that the gas is more compressible under these conditions since since the gas shows what gas shows what negative deviation negative deviation from where from ideal behavior from ideal behavior the gas is showing what negative deviation that's why that's why what now here it is more compressible that point we have to understand okay so more gas is more compressible meaning what the gas is more compressible meaning what the gas is easily liquefied easily easily liquefied the gas can be easily liquefied when gas can be easily liquefied if gas is more compressible when gas will be more compressible if gas is showing negative deviation when gas will be showing negative deviation if z value of gas is less than one compressibility factor is less than one so in this way we have to understand concept next one we, uh, can we use boyle's law can we use Boyle's law to calculate to calculate the volume of a real gas from its initial state to final state during adiabatic expansion? So adiabatic expansion means the heat will not be lost, heat will not be gained by the gas. When you take uh, a liquid in thermos flask, when you take a hot liquid, when you take a hot milk in thermos flask, will the heat be lost to surroundings? The heat will not be lost to surroundings and will the heat be gained from outside? No, the heat is neither gained by the hot milk nor lost by the hot milk. When you place the hot milk in, when you take the hot milk in, thermos flask. That means what heat change is not going on. Heat is not going out of the system. Heat is not going into the system. That type of condition is called what? Adiabatic condition. Adiabatic condition. So adiabatic expansion means what? The gas is expanding. The gas is expanding from lower volume to higher volume. From initial volume, lower volume to final volume, higher volume. It is expanding. Under which conditions? Adiabatic conditions. They are saying what now? They are asking what? Can we use Boyle's law to calculate the volume of real gas? No. No, we cannot. We cannot use Boyle's law to calculate volume during adiabatic expansion because temperature is lowered temperature is lowered during adiabatic expansion when adiabatic expansion is going on when you expand a gas under adiabatic condition the temperature is lowered this point remember for time being you will study all these things in thermodynamics in physics okay we have we also have thermodynamics in chemistry okay the, but we are not going to discuss now that one so in thermodynamics chapter we will discuss all these things here just for timing remember that during adiabatic expansion what happens temperature is lowered temperature is lowered means the cooling effect will occur cooling will be taking place that is temperature temperature does not remain constant during adiabatic expansion temperature does not remain constant it will be lowered which violates boyle's law boyle's law means what should be constant temperature must be constant at constant at constant temperature volume is inversely proportional to what pressure volume of a given mass of gas is inversely proportional to pressure at constant temperature this is called what now boyle's law but here in this adiabatic expansion what is happening here temperature is getting lowered temperature is decreased that means temperature is not remaining constant so boyle's law cannot be used during adiabatic expansion so that point keep in mind is that clear now next important thing what we have to understand uh, is that adiabatic expansion means the expansion of gas when 
और ये हीट चेंजेस आर जीरो हीट इज नॉट लॉस्ट और गेन्ड now another important problem is that the compressibility factor of gases is less than unity unity means what one unity meaning what one z is less than one they are saying at stp at stp conditions the compressibility factor of gas is of a given gas is less than one at stp therefore what they are asking here so they are asking molar volume molar volume vm indicates what here molar volume vm molar volume okay so vm is nothing but molar volume generally what is molar volume at stp molar volume meaning what ma volume of one mole volume of one mole gas is called what molar volume v molar generally v molar will be what 22.4 liters na at stp 22.4 liters so here what they gave condition z is less than 1 they said whenever z is less than 1 remember that molar volume will be less than 22.4 liters okay if if z is less than 1 and when it will be condition when this condition will be applied here when molar volume will be more than 22.4 liters if if z is greater than 1 z is greater than 1 means which deviation positive deviation so positive deviation is nothing but z value should be greater than 1 when z value is greater than 1 and showing positive deviation that gas will be having more than 22.4 liters volume at stp okay if z value is greater than 1 if z value less than 1 v molar molar volume will be less than 22.4 liters and when v molar will be exactly equal to 22.4 liters if z equals to 1 z equals to 1 means what ideal gas for ideal gas z value will be 1 exactly if z is equal to 1 molar volume will be equal to 22.4 liters that's what we have to understand these three conditions okay ma now z value generally how to calculate v real gas by volume of ideal gas volume of real gas by volume of ideal gas how to define this compressibility factor now the ratio of volume of a real gas to the volume of ideal gas is called what compressibility factor if z value le less than 1 if z value is less than 1 uh, the real gas the real gas volume will be less than what ideal gas real gas volume will be less than ideal gas that is less than what 22.4 liters less than 22.4 liters at stp is that clear ma so whenever we start the sentence with if then should not be there remember if when we start if there should not be then followed so if z is less than 1 comma v real less than v ideal therefore 22.4 liters now here which is less here v real less so it is lesser value it is greater value if the numerator is less denominator is more z value will be what less than 1 z value less than 1 means negative deviation negative deviation means more compressible negative deviation means more compressible because magnitude of attractive force magnitude of a value will be greater then easily liquefied the gas can be easily liquefied if z value is less than 1 next calculate the pressure exerted by 22 grams 22 grams means what is this given here mass given 22 grams of co2 gas now for co2 what is gram molecular weight ma gram molecular weight of co2 44 gram per mole 44 gram per mole so 44 grams is what gram molecular weight of co2 right so given weight is 22 gram molecular weight is 44 given weight by gram molecular weight will give number of moles in 0.5 decimeter cube volume so volume is given 0.5 liters only decimeter cube one decimeter cube is equal to 1 liter 1 decimeter cube is equal to 1 liter so 0.5 decimeter cube meaning what 0.5 liters at given temperature 300 kelvin using using the ideal gas equation ideal gas equation and also using the van der waals equation <coughs> using ideal gas equation and van der waals equation we have to calculate what pressure exerted now here next one given magnitude of a value what 
A value is what now here magnitude of attractive force given here, and magnitude of B size of gas molecule. B represents what here? B represents size of gas molecule. B is what size of gas molecule or volume of gas molecule. A is what measure of magnitude of attractive force. Is that clear, ma? So A value given, B value. Van der Waals constant A and B given. So we have to calculate what now pressure. Pressure exerted as per ideal gas equation and from real gas equation, Van der Waals equation. Now number of moles formula what? Number of moles n equals to given weight, given weight by gram molecular weight. So 22 grams by 44 grams, 0.5 moles n is given indirectly. And volume is what? 0.5 liters. And temperature is given, A value given and B value given. Okay, so B value given in centimeter cube, remember, B value given centimeter cube. So we have to convert in liters now here, liters, we have to convert in liters. So one, one centimeter cube, one centimeter is, is cube is equal to what? 10 power, generally we know that one liter or one decimeter cube. One liter is equal to thousand centimeter cube now, that means thousand ml now, thousand ml. 1 liter is equal to how many ml? 1000 ml. 1000 ml means 1000 centimeter cube. 1 decimeter cube is equal to 1000 centimeter cube. Then 1 centimeter is equal to what? Then 1 centimeter cube is equal to what? 1 by 1000. 1 by 1000 decimeter cube or liters. Decimeter cube or liters. So 1 centimeter cube or 1 ml. 1 centimeter cube or 1 ml is equal to 1 by 1000. 1 by 1000 liters. Is that clear, mom? So, like that, we have converted here. 40 by 1000. 40 by 1000. 40 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.04 liters. Okay? 0 0.04 liters mole inverse. Decimeter cube. This one. So, like this, a B value we have converted into liters per mole. Liters per mole. Or decimeter cube per mole. Is that clear, mom? Next. From ideal gas equation, what is this? PV is equal to NRT, na? From ideal gas equation, pressure is equal to nRT by V. Pressure is equal to nRT by V. So pressure is equal to N, number of moles 0.5. R value 8.314 joules. In joules, we have taken. And temperature, what? Temperature 300 Kelvin. And PV, PV you know, V, volume in a decimeter cube. Okay. So like this, we get what now here? Uh, some value in Pascal first. We get in Pascal. Okay. Next, we have to convert into kilopascal. Next. From the Van der Waals equation, Van der Waals equation means real gas equation. From real gas equation, pressure is equal to what now? NRT by V minus NB minus AN square by V square. We know Van der Waals equation, no? Van der Waals equation is given by P plus AN square by V square into V minus NB is equal to NRT. From that, we get P here, from Van der Waals equation. So on substituting all the values, we get some value. So like that here, in kilo Pascal, if you take, in kilo Pascal, if you take, it is pressure as per what? Van der Waal equation. It is a pressure as per what? Pressure according to what? Real gas, means ideal gas equation. So in this case, how to write this one out here? In scientific notation, 2.298, 2 2.2812 into, now here how many places decimals displays here? One, two, three positions now. So 10 power three kilo Pascal, kilo Pascal. Is that clear? So it is 2.2 or 2.3 roughly you can take. 2.3 into 10 power three. It is 2.4 into 2.4 into 10 power three. So which is greater here? The pressure exerted by ideal gas. The pressure exerted by ideal gas ideal gas is somewhat the pressure exerted by ideal gas is somewhat greater than what pressure exerted by real gas the pressure exerted by ideal gas is 2.4 or 2.5 you can take here round off 2.5 into 10 power 3 kilopascal but here 2.3 only 2.3 into 10 power 3 kilopascal like that what we have to understand here the p ideal will be generally greater than p real at the given conditions of temperatures and uh, other conditions. That means what now here? In ideal gases, attractive forces between the gas molecules will be negligible. But in real gases, we have to consider the attractive force between gas molecules. 
because of attractive forces in real gas the real gas pressure exerted will be less somewhat less so that point keep in mind next so two van der waals gases two van der waals gases means what two real gases have the same value of b same value of b b is same for two gases but they have different values of a attractive force different but size is same which of these will occupy greater volume greater volume under identical conditions generally greater volume means greater value of b we can take but here what they said two gases have same b value same b value meaning what same size same volume now what they are saying which will have greater volume under identical conditions if the gases have the same value of a suppose another case what they are taking if they have same a but different values of b suppose which of them will be more compressible generally compressibility will be taken as per a if a value is greater more compressible we can say but here a value is same they are saying in second case what they are saying a value is same okay now see here when two gases have same value of b suppose when b is same so for a gas b of b of a gas is equal to b value of b gas both gases same b value but different values of a in that condition the gas having a larger value of a larger value of a will occupy lesser volume okay a if if a is greater if a is greater uh, the volume occupied will be lesser okay that means what when b is same if b values of two gases are same okay which will be having less volume here which will be having less volume whichever is having greater value of a will have less volume that point keep in mind next this is because the gas with a larger value of a more value of a will have larger forces of attraction more force of attraction if a is greater more force of attraction and hence lesser distance between two molecules between two molecules here less distance will be there because attractive force is greater between these two molecules attractive force is greater that's why they come very close they when they come very close what happens now here the volume occupied will be somewhat less here attractive force is more indicating what less volume it is case 1 now case 2 what they said when two gases have same value of a suppose same value of a suppose but different values of b in this condition now in this here what is given now here a value of a gas is equal to a value of b gas both gases have same a value but b value different in this condition the smaller the value of b smaller the value of b the larger the compressibility factor compressibility will be compression will be more if the smaller b value is there if b value is smaller b value if it is less the compress compression will be compression will be greater compression will be greater so in this condition the compression and b how they are related inversely proportional smaller the b value smaller the b value larger will be compression larger will be compression is that clear ma because the gas with the smaller b value smaller b value means less size will occupy lesser volume if b is less less size and less volume will be there and hence will be more compressible if size of the gas molecule is lesser it can be more easily compressed if size of gas molecule is lesser the gas molecule can be easily compressed so b value and compression inversely proportional in this condition okay next calculate the molecular diameter diameter is equal to what now here 2 into radius 2 into r so molecular diameter means this one it is what now radius it is what radius so diameter they are asking calculate the diameter of molecule of helium of helium from its van der waals constants so helium gram molecular weight how much gram molecular weight of helium 4 grams per mole 4 gram mole inverse and 
B value is given 22 centimeter cube. They give again. See here, 20 centimeter cube. They give in liters. If you want to convert, one centimeter cube is equal to one by thousand liters. One by thousand liters. 